Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are tuned in to Ashland Legion Baseball, and we are in progress as this is hit in the air to center field. And that will be a flyout for the third hitter in the lineup. We apologize, a little bit of an early of a start time, and we had some technical difficulties. But right now, there are two outs for the Ashland Sevens, and a runner on second base stepping to the plate is going to be Dushney, the shortstop for the sevens. Tom Nappy on the call. We're still awaiting our camera man. We certainly hope he didn't get lost trying to find the venue. But we are started slightly early as Mason Dushney, the shortstop, steps in. So let's take you through the Ashland sevens batting order. Shea Donovan started off with a fly out to center. He's at the top of the order as Dushney takes the ball. Sam Farrell, the center fielder, doubled Two left center, Kevin Balowitz flew out to center, so two outs, one on. Mason Dushney, the cleanup man, to the plate. And he'll take a strike there. Tyler Dossis, the first baseman, batting fifth. Connor Kramer, the DH, hitting sixth. Dan Quinn, the second baseman, hitting seventh. Isaac Curley, the catcher, hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. As Jack Rufo, the Westwood pitcher, gets set to deliver. As this is hit in the air, and it is going to be caught and that'll be a base hit rather excuse me for Dushney it is a blinding sun here today and right now I'm multitasking a little bit trying to do the camera work as well as announce so bear with me folks Tyler Dossis the first baseman will step in runners on first and third two outs for the sevens as this is hit up the middle and foul along the left side. It is a very hot day here in Westwood. Temperatures in the high 90s. And with the humidity, it feels about 100 degrees out here this evening. And it is a blinding sun drenching the field as this is going to be hit in the air over to left field and caught for the third out of the inning. So to the bottom of the first we go. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball in HCAM and Hopkinton. WACA TV in Ashland or HCAT in Holliston. Bottom of the first, coming up next, we are scoreless between Westwood and the Ashland Sevens. Ashland Sevens Baseball in HCAM and Hopkinton. WACA TV in Ashland and HCAT in Holliston. We are entering the bottom half of the first, a scoreless game between Westwood and Ashland, of course, it was a wild one last night between Ashland and Milton. The Sevens ended up coming away with a 9-5 loss. Their first loss of the season to Milton as Jack Rufo, the pitcher, steps in. We'll take you through the batting order in just a moment as Dylan Fonseca delivers the first pitch for a strike. The batting order consists of Jack Rufo, the pitcher, leading off Jacob and Guy in the right fielder batting second. James Bean, the shortstop, will hit third. Wind up and the pitch. That's fouled away. 0 oh, and 2. Daniel Delore, the center fielder, hitting cleanup. John Teixeira, the catcher, hitting fifth. Derek Nelson, the second baseman, hitting sixth for Westwood. Thomas Crumsick, the first baseman, hitting seventh. Jake Pfaff, the third baseman, hitting eighth. And Jared Aramo, the left fielder, hitting ninth. Dylan Fonseca, the pitcher today for the Sevens, as this is hit in the air, foul out of play. Let's take you around the diamond. Isaac Curley is the battery mate of Dylan Fonseca. Over at first base, it is Tyler Dossis for the Sevens. As set to deliver is Fonseca. Dan Quinn, the second baseman. Mason Dushney, the shortstop. Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Sam Farrell, the center fielder. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder. Fonseca waits the sign. And this is fouled off.
Fonseca set to deal. And there's a ball, two and two. Steve Watson is here at the game. He's bailing us out on camera right now. So a big thank you to Steve Watson for stepping in and taking over the camera duties as that pitch is high. Fonseca working from the stretch. We'll get you the stats on Fonseca in just a little bit as that pitch is high. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He's going to try to run it out. The throw down. They got him. So a nice strike out there for Fonseca. That's the second out of the inning. That'll bring up James Bean, the shortstop. Coming into this game, Ashland is 6-1 and one on the season. Westwood, two wins, four losses, and a tie. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Dylan Fonseca, an 18-year-old out of Holliston, graduated this past spring. New to the seven squad as this is hit in the air over a deep left field and a dive. It's going to be dropped. Is that a fair ball? Yes, it is. Around second goes Bean, heading over to third. The throw. Not in time, a triple for James Bean. Well, he's a good athlete, multi-sport athlete for the Westwood Wolverines and a very good hitter on the baseball diamond as Daniel Delory will step in. So two outs, runner on third for Westwood, who would typically, if it was a Legion season, be post 320. Of course, it is independent baseball league play with the Legion season being canceled, but a number of Legion teams getting together and playing some independent balls. This is it in the air, right side, and it's caught by Nick Calabrese just before the foul line for the third out. After one inning of play, we are scoreless here at Westwood High School. To the top of the second we go, you are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball. Top of the second inning, due up for the Ashland Sevens, the six, seven, and eight hitters. Connor Kramer, the DH, Dan Quinn, the second baseman, Isaac Curley, the catcher. Jack Rufo is the pitcher for Westwood. His battery mate, John Teixeira, at first base, Tom Krumsick. Derek Nelson at second base. James Bean, the shortstop. The third baseman's Jake Pfaff. From left to right, it is Jared Aramo, wind up and the pitch, and he gets a good piece of this one, and it is going to be sent up the left side, the throw over, he got him. Five to three on that out, one away, that'll bring up Dan Quinn. The center fielder, Dan DeLore, Jacob and Guyan is the right fielder. Dan Quinn will step in now, certainly a hot day here today. Not a whole lot of shade on this field whatsoever. I'm a puddle of sweat, as you could imagine. Yep. And of course, the home plate umpire now behind the pitcher's mound for the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League, a rule that was just implemented a couple days ago. And there's a strike. Got to protect those umpires. It is certainly tough recruiting them nowadays. Wind up and the pitch, gets a piece of this one up the left side, picked up on the infield, grass throw to first, not a problem. For the third baseman, another five to three out there, two away, that'll bring up Isaac Curley, the catcher. Isaac Curley has been busy behind the play with Jackson Hornung unavailable the last couple of nights.
Fouls that one away. 0 and 1. Wind up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one hit in the air over to shallow left field. Backtracking to make the catch is the shortstop James Bean. A 1 2 3 top of the second. To the bottom of the second we go. You are tuned in Ashland Sevens Baseball on HCAM WACA TV and HCAT. Bottom of the second inning, a scoreless game between Ashland and Westwood. A lot of these players familiar with each other. Of course, both teams playing in the TVL as John Teixeira, the catcher, steps in. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away, 0 oh, and 1. Well, it was a pitcher's duel in last night's game against Milton up to about the seventh inning when the offense came alive for both sides. In the top of the seventh, Milton played it a run. Ashland came back in the bottom of the seventh with a run of their own. And then in the eighth, both teams scoring four runs apiece. It was a five to one lead at 1.4 Milton, but Ashland ended up tying things up at five apiece to send it to the ninth. And then after that, Milton bats kept going, and Ashland struggled a bit, and Milton took the game 9-5. to five. Line up and the pitch hit in the air over to center field. That'll drop in for a hit. Lead off single for Teixeira. That'll bring up Derek Nelson, the second baseman. So lead hitter of the inning on for Westwood as Fonseca gets ready to deal. Fouled away. Fonseca set to deal. That pitch a little bit low, briefly got by Curley, but he's able to gather it up quickly. No advancement by the runner. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Slight lead by Teixeira. And this is fouled away. One and two now on Nelson. Westwood lost their game last night to Braintree. 13 to three was the final in that one. But I think teams in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League starting to see that this Ashland Sevens team is a big threat and you gotta give it your A game as Milton did last night to try to get in the win column. Ashland tied for first with that 6-1 and one record. We'll take you through the standings in a bit during this broadcast. The pitch was low. And there's another ball, and Derek Nelson draws a walk. So you got two on, no outs for Westwood. I'll bring up Thomas Crumsick, the first baseman. Swing and a miss. Tim McDonald, the home plate umpire today, as this is hit in the air to the left side, and that is gonna drop foul. Tim certainly does a great job with the games that he calls. 
the balls and strikes. A Franklin Panthers alum. Also a massive Franklin fan as well. But he's certainly not biased when he's out there umping. Fonseca from the stretch takes a look at second and delivers as this is fouled off. Right towards the parking lot. Certainly a nice field here at Westwood High School. Some big dimensions. Over to center, it's 369. To right field, 348. Not seeing the left field dimensions, but it's certainly in the 300s. Swing and a miss. And that is going to be out number one. It'll bring up Jake Pfaff, the third baseman. Two on, one out. Where gets back. And now we'll have a conference on the mound. Curly will come out to talk with Foster, or Fonseca, excuse me. And we are ready to resume. Both runners with a slight lead. Fonseca set to deal. And he just got a piece of that one. But it will be a strike. Oh, and one. Fonseca looks at second and delivers. Ball one. Fonseca working from the stretch. He deals inside. Two and one. Fonseca awaits the sign he likes. And is set to deliver. Takes a look at second and deals. Another inside pitch. Three and one. Fonseca now in danger of loading up the bases. Taking a look at the standings, Ashland and Medfield at the top, both six and one. Braintree is five and two. Milton five and two. Franklin four and two. Quincy four and three. Hyde Park four and three. As this is going to be hit up the left side. Throw to second for one. Now they'll throw to first for two. And they'll get just one. To share advancing to third. Nelson thrown out on the fielder's choice. And Faf aboard over at first base. So runners on the corners, two outs for Westwood. A six to four force out. That'll bring up Jared Aramo, the left fielder. Natick four and three on the season. Walpole three and three. Norwood three and four. Westwood two, four and one. As Fonseca getting ready to deliver. A pitch slightly inside, four ball one. Needham is two and five. Weymouth two and four. Dedham one and six. Canton is one and six. There's a strike. Kingston is one and four. And those are your standings for the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and two is the count on Aramo. Two on, two outs for Westwood. 
Fonseca looks at first runner taking off as this is going to be hit up the middle, grab by the second baseman, throw to first, no problem. Four to three to retire the side. We'll head to the bottom of the second. We are scoreless in Westwood. You're tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball. Top of the third inning, nine one and two do up for the Sevens. Nick Calabrese set to step in. He's off to a red hot start with the bat this season. And he has been a big threat in that nine spot for the Sevens. As he will take ball one with the first pitch here in the top of the third. Shea Donovan and Sam Farrell also do up. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Two ando. Rufo set to deal. Slightly high there. Three ando. And he'll draw the walk. So a leadoff walk to start the top half of the third. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Nick Calabrese adding on to that 696 on base percentage. And we have a hit batter. So there'll be two on with no outs. Calabrese pushed up to second. Now at first is Donovan, Sam Farrell to the plate. Shea Donovan, a 154 average heading into the game, 267 on base percentage, but drawing the hit by a pitch there. And now Sam Farrell steps in. He's at a 389 on the season, a 621 on base percentage. Off to a very nice start, 611 slugging. Has driven in three runs, scored 12, and he takes a strike. Two on, no outs for the sevens. Swing and a miss. Just trying to lift that low pitch up. Pitch up in there for a strike. Rufo delivers, and this is going to be hit in the air over to right field. Could it be trouble with the sun? No. As in Guy makes the catch, but advancing to third is Calabrese. So Farrell does push the lead runner up with the flyout. And that'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Shea Donovan staying put at first. And we have time called. John Teixeira directing traffic for Westwood. Kevin Balowitz has driven in seven runs this season, 350. Average as he'll get a piece of this one. And no, we're going to have the runner taking off. And did he get the steal? Yes, he did. Shea Donovan showing off the wheels. Calabrese stays put at third base. Balowitz also the 480 on base percentage so far this season. He's going to line this one right back to the pitcher. Takes a hop on the grass, throw to first, and easy out there. Runner stay put. One to three, four out number two. That'll bring up Mason Dushney, the shortstop. So runners on second and third for the sevens. And two outs. We'll see what the cleanup man can do. And he'll get a piece of it up the middle, and it is going to get into the outfield past the reach of the second baseman. One run into score. Here comes another, and it's going to be a two RBI single for the shortstop, Mason Dushney. 
a great piece of hitting there, getting it right through the gap. And able to drive in Calabrese and Donovan. And that'll bring up Tyler Dossis, yesterday's starting pitcher and today's first baseman. Line up and the pitch, checking at first. Runner just saved, that was a close one. Tyler Dossis, a 3.33 batting average, 4.40 on base percentage, and he'll get a piece of this one, and it is going to be taken care of. Throw to first, he got him, and that will be an out. Four out, number three, but the sevens plate two, and they lead it two to nothing as we head to the bottom of the third on HCAM or HCAT or WACA TV. Bottom of the third inning, a 2-0 lead for the Ashland Sevens. Top of the order due up for Westwood. Jack Ruffo, the pitcher, Jacob and Guy in the right fielder, and James Bean, the shortstop. Dylan Fonseca out there for his third inning of work. And he'll deliver ball one. We're here at Russell E. Donovan Field at Westwood High School. Very nice baseball diamond for sure. Wind up and the pitch. And that is going to be strike one. Set to deliver. And this is going to be whacked over to right field. That'll drop down for a hit. So a leadoff hit for the pitcher. And that'll bring up Jacob and Guy in the right fielder. with a slight lead at first. And this pitch to Nguyen's a little bit low, one and oh. Fonseca set to deal. And the hitter will just pull back the bunt in time to make it a two and oh count, runner back to first. Looks like they're perhaps maybe gonna do a bunt and run there. But the pitch a little bit inside from Fonseca. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to center field and that'll be past the reach of Dan Quinn, the second baseman. So two straight hits to start off the bottom of the third for Westwood. And now James Bean, the shortstop, will step in. Well, Sam Farrell has a lot of speed, but a ton of ground to cover in that center field area. And that ball was hit in shallow center, tough for anybody to get to. Just past the reach of Quinn, who made a good effort for it. And that pitch is a ball to Bean. One and oh. Fonseca working from the stretch with two on and no outs. Outside. Two and oh. As Bean signals the runners back. Fonseca set to deal. There's a strike, two and one. Westwood has had at least one base runner in every inning of this game so far. We'll see if they could turn it into any runs. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to be filed away. Two and two now.
after allowing the first two hitters to reach in the second inning. Fonseca had a strikeout, and then there was a force out and a ground out. First two runners have reached here in this third. And that is going to be fouled away. Count remains two and two. Set to deliver. And that is going to be another foul ball. The sun will certainly be an issue right now for these outfielders. As well as announcers and camera people. <laughs> Fonseca set to deliver. That pitch a little bit low, and that'll fill up the count. Fonseca looks at first, now second and deals. And this is going to be hit in the left field. That'll drop down for a hit. And the throw to third is going to get Rufo back to the bag. So no runs will score, but it's bases loaded, no outs for Westwood. And that'll bring up Daniel DeLore, the center fielder. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Here's the 1 0. Another pitch down low, 2 and 0. Westwood with the bases juiced and no outs. Big opportunity for them here in this bottom of the third, trailing two to nothing to Ashland. Fonseca takes a look at second and delivers. Check swinged in hole. That's going to be a strike. Two and one is the count. Fonseca set to deliver. That pitch a little bit low, three and one. Well, another walk here would be a run for Westwood. There's the three one. And that's fouled away, that'll fill up the count. Well, these Westwood hitters certainly battling in this inning. And they are making Fonseca throw a lot of pitches. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to be hit in the air over to right field. It's caught. Runner from third is going to try to score. And it's going to be cut off to throw to third. And they have a runner and a chase down. And they're going to get two outs out of it. So a run does score, but they get two outs out of it. Rufo came around to score. And then Nguyen tried to tag back up. And he was thrown out. James Bean stays at first base. And that'll be two away. And a run in, so a two to one game as John Teixeira, the catcher, will step in. Isaac Curley cleaning the home plate. Well, you no longer have the home plate umpire to handle that duty. So the catcher's got to do it. Just... 
Runner taking off from first as the pitch is low. The throw to second, not in time. A stolen base for Bean. Wind up and the pitch. There's a called strike, one and one. Fonseca looks at second and deals. There's strike two. One and two. Well, Fonseca could find his rhythm here. He could certainly be effective, but these Westwood hitters gave him a hard time all last inning, but perhaps that double play was the change of things. We'll see. Up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first. Not a problem. Five to three, four out number three. And despite having bases loaded with no outs, Westwood only able to play to run. It's a two to one Ashland Sevens lead as we head to the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth inning, a two to one Ashland Sevens lead. Six, seven, and eight hitters due up for Ashland as Connor Kramer, the DH, will step in, followed by Dan Quinn and Isaac Curley. Face Jack Rufo. He's looking to settle down after last inning. And he will deliver a ball one there. Line up and the pitch. And he's going to get a piece of this one up the left side. The throw over in time. Five to three for out number one. Now bring up Dan Quinn, the second baseman. Quinn has grounded out so far today. And he'll take this pitch inside, one and oh. Rufo set to deal. And this is hit in the air, right side and foul. Just in front of us, one and one. And Quinn is going to send this one, a slow roller up the right side, and it's even more slowed by the grass, and he beats it out. An infield single for Dan Quinn showing off the wheels. That was a tough play to make for the second baseman, Derek Nelson, and he got there just a tad too late. And now Isaac Curley will come up to the plate with one out and one on. Isaac Curley looking for his first hit of the season. Checking at first, runner back safe. Pretty good pickoff move there by Rufo. First pitch to Curley is low, one and oh. Long look at first base by Rufo, and then he delivers, ball two. Line up and the pitch. And this is going to be hit up the right side, past the reach of the second baseman in a right field it goes. Two on with one out for the sevens. And now the dangerous Nick Calabrese coming to the plate. He walked his last time up. And scored a run up as part of that two RBI single by Mason Dushney. The Calabrese, a 650 batting average on the season, 20 at bats, 690 on, 696 on base percentage, and gets a piece of this one, and that'll drop into left center. One run is being waved around. He will score. It's an RBI single for Nick Calabrese. Isaac Curley moves up to second, 
And Dan Quinn comes all the way around to make it a three to one game. And now Shay Donovan will step to the plate, the leadoff man. First we'll have a conference on the mound by the Westwood infield. Shay Donovan so far today, 0 for 1, was hit by a pitch and scored the other run that was part of that Mason Dushney two RBI single in the third inning. On the season, he's hitting a 154, 13 at bats, 267 on base percentage. He has driven in two and scored two. The conference breaks up and we are ready to go. Two on, one in. And a three to one lead for the sevens. One out in the inning. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He'd like to have that one back. There's the 0-1. Inside, one and one. And looks like uh, Shea Donovan maybe uh, wants a new bat. Or a glove, it appears. So I'll take the glove and go back over. He faces a 1 1 count. Sam Fair will do up next. If the top of the order gets going, look out. Middle of this seven's batting order is dangerous. It is, that is strike two to Donovan. Wind up in the pitch. Inside there. Two and two. Fouled away, count remains two and two. Steve Watson on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. Happy to have Ashland seven summer baseball for you here from Westwood High School. Rufo looks at second and deals. And he hit him. That'll load up the bases with one out for the sevens. Sam Farrell will step to the plate. I wonder if that sun's making it hard for the pitchers at all. I mean, it's right behind home plate, perhaps glaring right into their eyes. That pitch inside it would not surprise me. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away by Farrell, one and one. Rufo set to deal, swing and a miss, and he is going to try to run it out, and it's going to be an out. The run did come around to score as Isaac Curley crossed home plate, and it's a 4-1 to -one game. So there's a little bloop grounder, and Isaac Curley able to take advantage of it. Balowitz takes the strike there. I'm being told it was a drop strikeout. That's what it was. And if the catcher drops it, the runner could tag. As this is going to be hit up the left side. In the left field it goes. One run is in. And it is going to be an RBI single for Kevin Balowitz. It's a five to one Ashland Sevens lead. And I'll tell you, it's not every day you see an RBI strikeout. I'll bring up Dushney. Check 
Check and add first, runner back safe. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. And the runner is taking off from first base. He's now caught in a pickle. And I think there's a trick to maybe try to get the runner from third to go, and he's going to go, and he's going to score. So it works out. The old trick lead worked out for Kevin Balowitz, and Shea Donovan comes around to score. And it's a 6-1 to one game. And Balowitz is even able to get back to first base safely. Boy, was that quite a maneuver there by Balowitz. He intentionally wanted to get into that pickle to try to give Shea Donovan an opportunity at third base to score a run. As Mason Dushney will strike out, and that will retire the inning. But the Sevens plate four runs in the top of the fourth, and they lead it 6-1 to one as we head to the bottom of the fourth on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Bottom of the fourth inning. Due up is six, seven, and eight for Westwood, and they'll have some work to do as they find themselves down six to one. Dylan Fonseca out there for another inning of work. It was a four run inning in the top half of the fourth for the Ashland Sevens. Derek Nelson starts things off. And he'll get a piece of this one up the right side. Fair ball, easily handled by Tyler Dossis for out number one, a three unassisted ground out. That'll bring up Thomas Crumstick, the first baseman. Time called by Isaac Curley. And we are ready to continue on. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Swing and a miss, so and two. Fonseca set to deal. Swing and a miss. A three-pitch strikeout for Dylan Fonseca, and there's two away. That'll bring up Jake Pfaff, the third baseman. And he'll get a piece of this one, a slow roller up the middle, picked up by Fonseca, throw to first, not a problem. A one to three out and a one, two, three, bottom of the fourth, we'll head to the top of the fifth. Ashland six, Westwood one. You are tuned in to Ashland sevens, summer baseball. Top of the fifth inning, a six to one lead for the Ashland sevens. A new pitcher for Westwood, Andrew Kelly is in to pitch. 
And the first pitch he delivers is a ball to Dossis. Kelly set to deliver. There's a strike. Andrew Kelly, a 17-year-old out of Westwood High School. That pitch outside, two and one. Dossus, Kramer, and Quinn do up for the sevens. Wind up and the pitch. That is going to be outside, three and one. Set to deliver. And he'll get a big piece of this one over to right center, and it's caught by the center fielder, Dan DeLore. One away. That'll bring up Connor Kramer, the DH. Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs. Here's the 1 0 pitch from Kelly. Down low. Connor Kramer 0 for 2 so far today. Leg lift and the pitch, and he'll foul this one away. 2 and 1. Set to deliver is Kelly. Little high there, three and one. Wind up and the pitch. That'll be ball four. Kramer will draw the walk. Dan Quinn will step in. Or actually, we're going to have a pinch hitter. It's going to be Lawrence Tang stepping in. Lawrence Tang stepping to the plate. Kelly from the stretch. And this is hit foul. Oh, and one. Lawrence Tang, a 26-year-old at a Belmont High School, a Hopkinton native. Or 16-year-old, excuse me, at a Belmont High School, a Hopkinton native. Checking at first, runner just safe. Pretty good pickoff move there by Kelly. Kelly set to deliver. Tank thought about it, but took it and takes a strike. Oh, and two. Runner taking off from first as Tang will get a piece of this one in the left field. It goes. Kramer's going to head over to third. The throw will not be in time. And it's a single for Lawrence Tang. Two on, one out for the sevens. And now Isaac Curley coming to the plate. Isaac Curley, one for two on the day. Had a single and score to run last inning as part of the four run top of the fourth.
Sevens trying to add on some more runs to that six to one lead. And we have a bunt foul. Connor Kramer with some pretty good speed over at third base. Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs. One and one. Kelly from the stretch. Runner taking off from first, swing and a miss. Tang is going to be aboard safely with the stolen base. And now the runner from third is gonna come around to score as the ball gets into the outfield. And the Sevens will have yet another run. Actually, it looks like they called and Tank took third after that ball went into the outfield. So he's safely aboard at third base. Connor Kramer came around to score. And it looked like the ball might have went off of the shortstop or perhaps Tang as he was safely aboard at second base and got into the outfield. As Isaac Curley... Is facing a one and two count. What were your thoughts about that, Steve? I think it was exactly as you said. I think it either hit Tang or it smacked the fielder and then bounced in center field. So as a result, Tang gets third. So good baseman right there. It certainly was. And Tang showing off the speed. That's something we haven't seen much from Tang. We've seen what his bat can do. But we haven't seen him on base too much, but he certainly has some wheels and got a nice stolen base there and forced the error and the ball into the outfield to allow Connor Kramer to score. Wind up and the pitch. And Curley gets a piece of this off the third baseman. It goes and Tang is in to score another run. Well, that was a hard hit ball, difficult play to make. I'm going to score that a single for Curley and, of course, the RBI. Steve Watson agrees. And a big thank you to Steve taking over the camera duties today. As we had a last-minute call-out, Nick Calabrese will step in. An 8-1 to one, Ashland 7's lead as they have added two runs in this inning so far. Only one out in the inning. That pitch outside, one and oh. Nick Calabrese having yet another great day at the plate. He has walked, singled, scored two runs, and driven in a run. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to left field. It goes, and that'll drop in for a hit. Everybody's going to be safe. As it curly up to second, Calabrese aboard with a single, his second hit of the day, and Shea Donovan will come up to the plate. Two runners on for the sevens. Well, you could tell by looking at Shea Donovan's jersey. He's gotten dirty a few times today. And he'll get a piece of this one up the left side. Foul. Almost a great play by Coach Obed. But you could score that in error. <laughs> Kelly set to deliver. Looks at second and now deals upstairs. One and one. From the stretch. 
Wind up and the pitch. And that's fouled away. One and two. Well, the Ashland Sevens offense has been certainly dangerous all season long and continuing that trend here today. Kelly sets a deal. A little outside there. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch. And that is going to be an out as Donovan goes down looking two away. It'll bring up Sam Farrell. Sam Farrell, one for three on the day. Swing and a miss. The 0-1. Ooh, that hit him. That'll load up the bases for the seven. Sam Farrell taking one for the team. I'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Bases loaded for the sevens as Balowitz set to step in. Takes that one low, and the runner's going to advance as it gets away from the catcher, and a run will score. Everybody advancing safely there. Isaac Curley around to score a run. Nick Calabrese up to third, and Farrell up to second. A pass ball by Teixeira, and the sevens take advantage. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Excuse me, the runner was actually sent back, so he did not score. That was another issue of the sun blinding me once again. Score remains eight to one. Farrell on second and Calabrese over at third. Might up and the pitch, fouled away. Oh, he did score. That's right, Isaac Curley came around to score. Nick Calabrese at third, Sam Farrell at second base. And a nine to one Ashland Sevens lead. Three more runs in so far in this inning. And this is fouled away. I will make the count two and two. Kelly from the stretch. Fouled away. Count remains two and two. Good battle here between Kevin Balowitz and Andrew Kelly. Kelly set to deliver. 
inside. Swing and a miss, and that'll retire the side in the top of the fifth, but the Sevens play three more runs. They lead it 9-1 to one as we head to the bottom of the fifth on HCAM, WACA-TV, or HCAT. Bottom of the fifth inning, a 9-1 to one Ashland Sevens lead. 9-1 and 2 due up for Westwood. Jared Aramo, Jack Rufo, and Jacob Nguyen. Dylan Fonseca out there for another inning of work. Wind up and the pitch. And foul. And pitch down low, one and one. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss. One and two. And that's going to be a strikeout ball. Gets away from the catcher. Curly picks it up. Throws it down to first to confirm the strikeout. One away. Bring up Jack Rufo, the pitcher. Or he started the game as the pitcher, rather. And we'll actually see if someone's going to hit in his spot here. It will indeed still be Rufo. So he's now in the game as a DH. First pitch down low, 1 and 0. Oh. Fonseca set to deal, and that's foul. Nearly a nice snag there by Coach O'Leary. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to be up the right side foul. Cow remains one and two. Lawrence Tang stays in the game for the sevens at first base. After pinch hitting successfully and scoring a run. Pitch down low. Two and two. Tang had an RBI single and then would later score a run. Also ended up forcing a, another run to score base running as he was trying to steal second as that's hit foul up the right side. Steve and I will have to keep our eyes open with this hitter at the plate. As the lefty steps back in. Swing and a miss, and he gets him. Two away. I'll bring up Jacob and Guy in the right fielder. Line up and the pitch. Swing and foul. Just got a piece of it. Here's the 0-1. 
Outside, says umpire McDonald, one and one. And this is going to be up the middle and get through everybody in the center field, a two out single for Nguyen. That'll bring up James Bean, the shortstop. Line up and the pitch, upstairs. Here's the one out. Inside, that, did that hit him? And it might have, it sounded like it, but the hitter will stay there, and Guyan does advance up to second on the wild pitch. Two and oh. Breaking pitch, a little low. Three and oh. Well, we'll see how long the leash is with Fonseca as he had to throw a lot of pitches early on in this game. A lot of good battles with some of these Westwood hitters. And now he works late into the fifth. There's a strike, three and one. I'm sure Coach Obed would love to see him get through this inning. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, that'll be a walk. Two on, two outs. Daniel Delory to the plate, the left fielder. Delory 0 for 2 today. And that's going to be a strike. Oh, and one. And he'll get a piece of this one. Is it foul? Yes. Oh, and two. Two on, two outs, that pitch inside. And no, the umpire's gonna say it did nick him. So that'll load up the bases. And Steve Watson saying it hit him around the knee area, but just grazed him. John Teixeira, the catcher, steps in. Pitch inside. It is a pinch hitter at the plate. We'll get you the name in just a moment. First, we're going to have an infield conference. William DiBattista is at the plate. And will this be it for Fonseca? And at least for now, he will stay out there. 
And Coach Obed really wants to see him get through this inning. Do have warm up action for the Sevens. It's Manny Tomaselli warming up, the 19 year older from Holliston. He got some pitching experience last year on the Legion team. And this is fouled away towards us. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. A 9-1 Ashland Sevens lead. But Westwood threatening as this is hit into left field. Here comes a run to score and another run right behind him and they will plate two. It's a 9-3 game, a two RBI single for Will DiBattista. So Jacob and Guy in around to score, as well as James Bean. Daniel Delory up to third. And now Derek Nelson to the plate. Checking at first, runner back safe. Nice job by Tang reeling that one in. Throw was a little off the mark from Fonseca. Down low. Another pitch down low, two and oh. Well, it's certainly been a pretty long fifth inning for sure. Ashland plating three runs in the top of the inning. Now Westwood with a pair of their own and threatening for more. Fouled away. Two and one. Daniel Delory at third, Will DiBattista at first after hitting a two RBI single. And the runner from first going to take off on sh the strike two. Stolen base for DiBattista. Two and two. Fouled away. From the stretch. Foul tip. Just staying alive is Derek Nelson. Count remains two and two. And this is hit up the right side. Out of Tang's glove it goes, and everyone's safe, and another run scores. So Derek Nelson reaches on the error. Daniel Delory around to score. And DeBatiste up to third. It's a nine to four game. 
Thomas Crumsick will come up to the plate. First error of the game by the Sevens. Checking at first, runner back safe. Slight lead by the runner at first. As Fonseca delivers ball one. Wind up and the pitch. Ball two. The 2-0 pitch. Outside, 3-0. and oh. Well, Fonseca walks this hitter. You have to imagine Coach Obid might consider taking him out. Here's a strike, three and one. Runner taking off from first is, that pitch is gonna be low and a walk. Bases are going to be loaded for Westwood. And they have batted around as Jacob Pfaff will come to the plate. And Fonseca staying out there. Try to see if he can work through the inning. Ball got away from the catcher. Everyone will stay put. Well, as much as I usually agree with Coach Obed, I don't think he should have left Fonseca out there after he just walked that hitter. As time being taken to clean off home plate. And pitch is down low. Wind up and the pitch. And that is going to make it a three and oh count. Fonseca set to deal. And it's a walk and a run will score. It is a nine to five game. Nelson up to third. Crum Sick up to second. Faf over to first, and Fonseca staying in there. Down low. It's Liam Nolia at the plate. He struck out as he made his first plate appearance of the game last inning. Swing and a miss. Well, Coach Obid uh, taking a gamble here. Continuing to leave Fonseca in with the bases loaded. Swing and a miss. One and two. Set to deliver, and this is going to be hit up the left side, throw over, and finally the inning will come to an end. A five to three ground out for Nullia, 
And we will head to the top of the six with the score, Ashland 9, Westwood 5. You are tuned in to Ashland 7, Summer Baseball. Top of the sixth inning, a 9-5 to five Ashland lead over Westwood. Stepping to the plate is Mason Dushney, a new pitcher for Westwood. As Dan DeLore moves over from center field to take over on the mound. There's also a few other position changes for Westwood, which we'll try to get you updated with. First pitch fouled away, and 0-1 and count. Well, a rough inning, rough bottom of the inning, I should say, for the sevens as they had a nice, comfortable lead. A swing and a miss there. But Westwood ended up plating four runs in the inning to put this game back within reach. Dylan Fonseca did get through five, but it wasn't without struggles. Wind up and the pitch. And that one is fouled away, one and two. One, two. And this is going to be hit in the air, foul territory, and out of the reach of everybody. Derek Nelson, the new right fielder for Westwood. Staying in the game and now at second base is Will DiBattista. Dushney steps back to the plate facing a two and two count. Ball three. Well, the scoreboard says seventh inning, but unless the sun really got to me, I believe that is incorrect. Fouled away. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. There's an out. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis. First pitch to Dossis is a ball. One and oh. Right up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Down low. Two and one. And he'll get a piece of this up the middle, glove by the shortstop. Throw to first, and he got him. A nice play there, six to three for out number two. We'll bring up Connor Kramer. Connor is 0 for two today with a walk and a run scored. First pitch is a strike. Down low, one and one. The 1-1. One, one. 
And he'll get a piece of this as it's hit in the air left side foul. One and two. Well, this game approaching the two hour mark. It has slowed down a little bit and that's gonna be strike three but it got by the catcher to throw to first. It is going to be off the mark but he's off the bag and will the tag matter? No, it won't. So Kramer will reach on the error by the catcher. And that will bring up Larry Tang. Checking at first, runner back safe. And this is going to be a pass ball and the runners will advance. The runner, I should say. So Kramer advances on the mishandle. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and one. Another swing and a miss, one and two. Two outs, runner on for Ashland. Fouled away. Check swing, couldn't hold. Out number three will move along to the bottom of the six. The 9-5 Ashland Sevens lead on HCAM WACA TV and HCAT. Bottom of the sixth inning, Maddie Tomaselli, the new pitcher for the Ashland Sevens. Hoping to try to get through these Westwood hitters and collect the seventh win of the season for the Sevens. As the first pitch he delivers is down low, one and zero. Oh. The hitter is Jack Rufo started the game as the pitcher, and he stayed in the game as the DH, as he'll bunt up the left side, picked up by the first baseman, and the throw will get away as it rolls towards us, and Rufo will advance. So pretty nice bunt there up the left side, and Rufo takes advantage of the errant throw. So you can score that a single and an E5. That'll bring up Jacob Benguyen. Tomaselli looks at second and is set to deliver. Foul tip, 0 and 1. Wind up in the pitch. And this is going to be hit up the left side. The throw over is going to be dr dropped and picked up by Tang for an out. Tang lucky there. He was just able to pick it up. A 5-3 to three ground out. Rufo stays put at second base. That'll bring up James Bean, the shortstop. Maddie Tomaselli getting his first work of the season on the mound for the Ashland Sevens in this relief appearance. Dylan Fonseca went five innings, giving up five runs, four of which were earned. That pitch outside. He had five strikeouts, walked a couple hitters as well as hit a batter. It was a good start overall for Fonseca. Just got really shaky 
in that fifth inning of work. Felt like maybe he could have been pulled a tad sooner. It was 9-1 to when that inning started, and then four Westwood runs would score to make it a 9-5 game. Put this game well within reach. A 3-0 count to Bean. One out in the inning, a runner on second. Westwood threatening once again. That is going to be a strike, three and one. Bean thought he might have had the walk there. There's ball four, two on, one out. Daniel Delory to step in. He took over on the mound. Third pitcher of the game for Westwood. Started the game in center field. And he'll take a strike. And this is going to be hit in the air to shallow left center and a nice backtrack and catch by Dushney for the second out. It'll bring up Will DiBattista. Sun's starting to set, making life a bit even more difficult for us. That pitch inside for ball one. There's a strike. And this is going to be hit foul territory towards us. And that is going to make the count one and two. I was about to throw Steve in my way to sacrifice him if needed. Big target right now. <laughs> And this is going to be up the right side foul. Pitch down low, two and two. And that is going to be a hit in the left field. That'll load up the bases for Westwood. There is two outs in the inning, but the bases are loaded. And now you got the tying run coming to the plate. Derek Nelson will step in. Well, the Ashland Sevens have had some pitching difficulties as of late. They've had some pretty good starts, but once they have to bring in relief, it has been a struggle. As this is hit in the air, over to right field, and it's caught! A nice catch by Nick Calabrese to retire the side here in the sixth inning. We will march on to the top of the seventh. It's Ashland nine, Westwood five. 
You are tuned in Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Top of the seventh inning. As the Ashland Sevens come back up to the plate and the Sun giving us tremendous difficulties here. First pitch is down low. Well, of course, you know, you never know what the vantage point will be and where the Sun will set. But you work with what you got. A 9-5 Ashland Sevens lead. A 2-0 count on Isaac Curley. That pitch outside. Dan DeLore out for another inning of work. And that'll be a walk for Curley. So lead man on here in the seventh for the sevens. Slight lead over at first, check in runner back safe. Pitch down low to Nick Calabrese, who's having a good day. He's two for two at the plate and was hit by a pitch, has scored two runs. That pitch down low. Two and oh. Well, another uh, Ashland Sevens game that went pretty quickly through the first few innings, but really has slowed down here in these later innings. Checking at first, runner back safe. Game over two hours old now. Big thanks to Steve Watson for stepping in on camera. Tom Nappy on the call as that pitch was inside. And grab the corner for a strike, two and one. Wide up and the pitch. And that is going to be a ball. Three and one. And that'll be ball four. Two on, no outs for the sevens. But no matter what happens, there will be no mercy in this one, that's for sure. And I'll bring up Shea Donovan. And uh, Westwood is going to have a conference on the mound here. And it looks like we'll have a new pitcher as well. Well, for right now, he's still out there, so we'll keep things right here to see if he ends up coming out. And it looks like he's going to stay out there for the moment. So Dan DeLore staying out there. Shea Donovan at the plate, two on, no outs for the sevens. There's a ball. Another ball there, it's gonna get by the catcher. Both runners will advance. Runners on second and third now.
Swing and a miss. Two and one. There's ball three. And it's going to be a walk. So he's walked the bases loaded. Or actually, there was a single to start off the inning, but then two straight walks. And that'll bring up Sam Farrell. First pitch is a strike. The Ashland Sevens threatening for some more runs here in the top of the seventh. Strike two. And did that hit him? Yes, it did. Or no. It doesn't look like it, but the ball got by the catcher. Run scores anyway. I thought it hit him. But it looks like he's going to stay in there. The 10 to 5 Ashland lead now. Upstairs draws the walk. And the runner at third was thinking the bases were loaded still and was about to trot home and then had to quickly retreat as the throw to third base almost got him. Because that runner at third already scored on the pass, on the wild pitch rather. And it looks like we'll have a new pitcher for Westwood, so we'll take a timeout. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Continuing on, and we have moved our position due to the brutalness of the sun from the angle we were at. So we can certainly see a little bit more than we could initially up here. As this is going to be hit in the left field, that'll drop down for a hit. Lead runner is going to be waved around. Here he comes. And it's an 11 to 5 Ashland Sevens lead. Make that a 12 to 5 lead, excuse me. So that is. An RBI base hit by the pinch hitter, Chris Cordani, who was hitting for Balowitz. Now at the plate, we got Mason Dushney. He'll take a ball. Sam Farrell went up to second. It was Shea Donovan who come around, came around to score. Make it a 12 to five game. Well, it's been a tough broadcast to get through with the crazy heat, the crazy sun setting right in our view. And it's been a long couple of innings these last few innings. But we're getting through it. And the Ashland Sevens are looking for their seventh win of this season, leading Westwood 12 to five. Wind up in the pitch. Down low, gets by the catcher. Runners will stay put. Set to deliver. There's a ball. Three and one. New 
pitcher is James Bean. Started the game as the shortstop. And here's a walk. That'll load up the bases. Still no outs in the inning. The bases reloaded for the sevens. Tyler Dossis will step in. Inside, one and oh. Oh, excuse me, that was a strike. Oh and one. And he'll foul this one off, oh and two. Steve closely watching his car off in the distance. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Staying alive is Tyler Dossis. Being set to deliver. And that one's fouled off. Heads up on the tennis courts. Infield is playing in for Westwood in case of a bunt attempt from Dossis with the bases loaded and no outs. That one's fouled away, heads up on the tennis courts. That was a close call there. Inside, one and two. And this is hit high in the air over to right field and caught for the first out. Runners will stay put. Now bring up Connor Kramer. Bases loaded, one out. Upstairs. Wind up and the pitch. And that got away from the catcher and a run will score. A wild pitch allows Sam Farrell to score and it's 13 to five. Two and O oh count. Two and one. Two one pitch. And this is fouled away. Two and two. Good distance on that foul ball. Well, the last couple games for the Ashland Sevens, a little bit of a different style than we saw pretty much at all last year. It's really just domination throughout by the Sevens, pitching and hitting. But this year, the pitching perhaps not as good as the shortstop throws it over to first base and gets the out. A run is around to score. So six to three out there. 
And correction, the runner stayed at third, so we did not come around to score. It remains 13 to five. Sevens have batted around as Lawrence Tank steps in. And he takes that one inside, one and oh. And he'll get a piece of this one up the left side, picked up by the third baseman. The throw in time, five to three, four, the out. But the Sevens played four more runs in the inning, and they lead it 13 to five as we head to the bottom of the seventh. You're tuned into Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Three, two, one. Bottom of the seventh inning, Maddie Tomaselli out to try to finish it off. A 13 to five lead. For the sevens as Thomas Crumsick steps in. Thomas Selly in his second inning of work as it's fouled away. Oh and one. Well, as long as Westwood does not have an extensive rally, the sevens would improve to seven and one on the season. And this is going to be up the left side, handled by the third baseman. Throw over, no problem, one away. A five to three out, and that'll bring up Jake Pfaff. That might have been the quickest out we've seen in the last three innings or so. Check swinged and holds, strike one. No doubt he went around there. And there is strike two, oh and two. Line up in the pitch. There's strike three, got him. Two away. And that'll bring up potentially the last hitter of the night, Jared Aramo. Matty Tomaselli would, I believe, be credited with the save since it was a four run situation. Two outs, no runners on for Westwood here in the bottom of the seventh. There's a strike, one and one. Sevens trying to improve to seven and one on this season. Westwood. The score holds, will fall to two, five, and one. As this is hit up the left side, handled by the shortstop, throw to first is over the reach of Tang, and he's safe. Third error of the game by the Ashland Sevens, a rough throw there by Dushney. He's played well at shortstop all game and all season long, but just a bad throw there. And with two outs, Westwood has a runner on. I'll bring up the top of the order, Jack Rufo. And one pitch, one swing, and it's a in foul territory along the left side, and it's caught, and that will do it. And the Ashland Sevens will come away with the 13 to five victory over Westwood. The Ashland Sevens improved to seven and one on the season. Westwood falls to two, five and one. A good win here by the Ashland Sevens. The offense coming through big. A big thank you to Steve Watson for doing camera. For everybody on the broadcast, I'm Tom Nappy. This has been Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball on HCAM and Hopkinton, HCAM and Hollison, as well as WACA TV in Ashland. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your night. We'll talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.